Hi kids, it's Beck here and I'm just bringing you a little message on YouTube. So hello from me. Um, over the next few weeks we're going to be having um, a few different devotions and messages all about um, the fruits of the Spirit. Um, and so I'm just going to read you a verse. It's from Galatians chapter 5 um, verse 22. And it says, the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Now, today, I'm going to be talking to you about faithfulness. Now, what does that mean? It might mean a few different things, actually, like having confidence, um, no doubt in your mind about something. Um, it could also mean having loyalty. So like, for example, if you have a really good friend um, and you're loyal to them, it means that you're going to stick by their side um, and take care of them. Um, so I had a bit of an example for you guys um, and we'll show you our chickens. We have some pet chickens. I like to call them pets because I really like to hang out with them. Now every morning it doesn't matter whether it's raining or sunny they're waiting for us. Um, waiting for us to come and bring them food. Now that means that they've got some sort of faith that they're going to get their food for the day. Um, so we might take them a few special snacks like maybe a bit of leftover corn cobs, um, some food, some pellets, make sure they have fresh water. Um, now our chooks, we really like them. We have a, one rooster called Erdogan. Uh, we also have two hens. Um, one of them's name is Robin and the other one is Mrs. Sniffy. Now they've all got individual characters. We love hanging out with them. Um, now faithfulness um, means that we're always there, we're taking care of them, but they also have a little bit of faith in us that we're going to be there to take care of them. Um, another example would be like planting a seed in the ground. Now a seed can be quite small and you might not see it for quite a long time but you have some faith that it's going to actually grow, come up out of the ground and become a plant. Um, maybe even flower, have some fruit, that kind of thing. So I'm just gonna share with you another verse about faithfulness. This is from Psalms 17. It says, praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise him, all you people of the earth. For his unfailing love for us is powerful. The Lord's faithfulness endures forever. Now that means God's faithfulness is always going to be there with us, no matter what the circumstances are. Another verse about faithfulness, which you might look like to look up in your Bibles as well, is Hebrews chapter 11, and it actually starts at verse one. It says, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. So just like the chooks wait for us without knowing and not seeing us, they know that we're gonna be there to turn up, give them their food for the morning, um, maybe a few special little snacks um, and take care of them. So just to finish up, I hope you guys are um, going well. Um, maybe pop a little comment down below about something you can do this week to grow your faithfulness in God and um, I'm just going to pray for you really quickly um, to finish. So God I just thank you so much for all our amazing kids and their families and I pray that um, your Holy Spirit would be with them, um, help them um, to grow in your um, to grow in your fruits of the Spirit and I thank you uh, that you're always with us and taking care of us and helping us to grow our faith. In Jesus' name, amen. You guys are champions. Thanks for watching. Bye.